Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Rebel Free. In this video, I'm going to explain you about mining methods. That is about a priori algorithm in the subject of data mining. We actually have two mining methods. One is a priori and the other is FP growth. FP is nothing but frequent pattern. Okay, so we have two algorithms. In this video, I'll explain about a priori algorithm. In the next video, I will explain about FP growth algorithm. Okay, so now let us see what is a priori algorithm, why we use a priori algorithm. With an example, I'll tell you everything in detail. Okay, it is given by R. Agarwal and R. Srikanth shows how objects are associated with each other that is the relationship between the objects how they are associated with each other that's all okay for example and our objective is to generate an association in this a priori algorithm okay don't worry with example you'll understand it so for example first before starting we have to take the minimum support and minimum confidence threshold is nothing but uh, minimum support or threshold support minimum confidence threshold confidence anything you can say okay you have to take the we have taken minimum support as 50 percent and the threshold confidence is 70 percent okay done next this is our example tid and items tid is nothing but the transaction id for transaction id 100 we are having items like 134 for 200 235 for 300 1235 for 400 25 so this is our example okay now we have to start applying our a priori algorithm in the first step what you have to do is you need to write the frequency of each and every item okay so that is here how many items you have one distinct items one two three four five right so we have one two three four five so for each for one for two for three for each of the data item for a uh, in the item set we have to write the frequency okay how i'll tell you that frequency is nothing but it is represented as support first item set one how many times one is repeated in the all now irrespective of transaction id you have to not think of transaction id now okay so one how many times it has occurred one two so the support of one is two okay next to two one two three so the support of two is three okay next to three one two so support no no one two three right so the support of three is three next to four four only here only one time nothing nowhere so support of four is one next to five one two three so support of five is three okay now after getting the support you have to calculate the minimum support how you will cali calculate the minimum support the support divided by total number of transactions how many you have four right so by four okay two by four you will get one by two which is nothing but fifty percent three by four is nothing but seventy five percent again three by four one by four three by four like that you will get the minimum support after getting the minimum support go back to the question again what initially what we have defined as minimum support fifty percent right so whatever are below fifty percent you have to cross them that is for the next iteration you will not consider it so which is having below fifty percent this 4 is having only 25% right so you can cross it that is it is eliminated now what is the item set new item set that you got 1 2 3 5 no 4 okay because it has less than um, 50% right so 1 2 3 5 is your new item set now what you will do is with that 1 2 3 and 5 you have to form the pairs okay 2 2 um, pair in the sense 2 only right so 1 2 3 5 right so 1 2 1 3 1 5 next two three two five two one is already formed two one or one two represents the same next to three five so we have to form the ordered pairs after you form the ordered pairs now you have to write all these ordered pairs into an item set like how we have done here like we have written each and everything right in the same way here in the second step what you have to do is you have to write the ordered pairs directly got it so once you write the ordered pairs then you have to again calculate the frequency so one two what is support of 1, 2? See, 1, 2 support how you calculate is 1 and 2 together where they have, how many times they have occurred. In single transaction, 1 and 2 together has to happen. How many times happened? Only once. Here, no 2. Here, no 1. Here, also no 1. So, only once it has happened, right? So, the support will be 1. Next, 1, 3. How many times it has occurred? 1. And here in the third transaction, two times. So its support will be two. Like that, you have to fill the support of each and every ordered pair from the uh, table, initial table. Got it? And then again, you have to calculate the support dividing by four because total four transactions are there. So here also, you got 25%, 25%. So these two things will be 
eliminated because our minimum support is what 50% so it is less than 50% we have to eliminate it got it now what are the ordered pairs uh, new item set that you will get 1 comma 3 2 comma 3 2 comma 5 3 comma 5 see this is the new item set that you have got 1 3 2 3 2 5 3 5 new item set is generated now from this new item set in the third step what you have to do is you have to form the triplets see simple in the first step like single values we have taken in the second step we have formed ordered pairs like two two values and in the third step we are forming tripling triplets that is we are taking three three values so got it now let us form the triplets from these two things what you can form one two three next from these two things you can form one uh, sorry you cannot form anything because nothing is common from these two things you can common uh, you can form one three five from these two two three five from and what else what else is there one two five one two five uh, from these two things uh, uh, no 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 sorry yeah from these two things only one three one two three you have already formed so one three five we can form so one three five and uh, next yeah so like that all the triplets will be formed you get four triplets out of these um, you know combinations okay once you get the triplets now the same process for these triplets you have to form, uh, calculate the support see we have taken all these four here and now we have to calculate support how do you calculate support then one two three how many times it is occurring in a complete all one two three three has to come in a single transaction that is happening for how many times let us see one two three one time so the support of one two three will be one next one two five one two five see one two five again one time right like that you have to fill the tables for two three five see two three five two three five how many times two times right so since it has happened for two times it will have the support as two and you have to calculate the minimum support by four then you will be getting all 25s only right so only this one you got it as 50 because two by four right so now these three things will be eliminated so the only item set that you have obtained at the end is two comma three comma five okay now for now you have to calculate the support and confidence got it so how do you calculate the support how do you calculate the confidence i'll tell you and for confidence the formula is confidence is equal to support of a union b by support of a so what is support of a union b what is a what is b everything i'll tell you don't worry support is nothing but discount you are clear about support right now how do you calculate support of a union b i'll tell you first before that we have to write the association rules okay so using 235 you have to generate the association rules first generating association rules is very simple see 235 352 253 now individually like 2 3 and 5 3 2 and 5 5 2 and 3 like that you have to generate you'll get six association rules got it so once you generate these six association rules you have to calculate the support and confidence support is always two obviously two because two three five commonly how many times it has occurred in our example for two times right so the support is two for all got it now you have to calculate the confidence which is very important so first for this i will tell you for this uh, rule i'll tell you the confidence how to calculate first confidence is equal to support of a union b by support of a right this is a this is b or the arrow mark which is on left side of the arrow mark that complete term will be a right side of the arrow mark it will be b okay support of a union b by support of a so what is support of a union b support of a union b is nothing but support of 2 3 5 got it what is support of 2 3 5 it's 2 right see 2 cap uh, 2 uh, yeah 2 and 3 uh, union 5 yeah see 2 by and support of a support of a means only 2 comma 3 right so you have to find out what is support of 2 comma 3 i guess we already got it here in the previous yeah see support of 2 comma 3 is 2 like that you have to see the previous tables and calculate the support of a or support of a union b okay so support of 2 and 3 is 2 so 2 by 2 you get 100 percent so here you will be filling it as 100 percent got it next like that only you have to calculate for 3 comma uh, 3 5 2 and 2 5 3 so here what a what is a 3 5 2 obviously the above will be 2 only because if the even though the order is changed also it is same right 2 3 5 only but here bottom you have to calculate the support of 3 comma 5 so that you have to replace okay like that and another example also i have done like 
this this three are different right these three are one set and these three are one set for these three how to calculate is 2 3 5 so support of 2 union 3 and 5 by support of 2 you have to take why 2 because see here a is only a only 2 b is 3 and 5 got it so support of only 2 what is support of 2 here it is 3 right so 2 by 3 that is 66 percent okay now once you calculated the confidence of all the values now what you have to do is you have to uh, you what is the threshold confidence that you have taken 70 percent so whatever are below 70 percent you can cross them that is you can eliminate them so you can eliminate this 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 and this only these two association rules only have to be considered among all the association rules generated only these two are the strong and the perfect association rules which will give you the relationship between the objects got it this is a priori algorithm i tried my level best to make it very clear to you but still if i was not able to do then okay i'm sorry for that so that's all for this video let's meet up in the next coming video with another topic till then stay tuned to my channel